Do you have a computer or laptop that you would like to try mining on? Maybe it doesn't have a powerful GPU and it has a good CPU. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use XMRig in order to set up your mining process. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide for mining on your CPUs using XMRig and setting XMRig up in order to do that. Now, my first recommendation would be that if you're going to mine on your CPU, then use the unminable pool for the reason that if you're going to mine on your CPU, you can get paid out in many more coins and you'll be getting paid out faster as well because you'll be seeing the, the returns of your processing power sooner as well. So what we need to do first is we need to open up the browser and go to the XMRig website. I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. Here you will download XMRig. All you need to do, if you're on a Windows PC and this is for Windows PCs, XMRig version 6.12.1 at the time of this video just click on the zip file here, the green button, and download that. So I'm just going to say don't show this again, and I understand show the link. This is the link where you can download it from. It's going to redirect you to the GitHub repository. Just click download, and that will start to download on its own. Now here I am using Mozilla Firefox to download, and here it's telling me that it blocked the download. I'm just going to click the arrow, and I'm going to say allow download. Now what you also should do is you need to exclude your downloads folder from the antivirus or for example from your Windows Defender in order for this not to get deleted by your antivirus once it's been downloaded. So now if I open my downloads folder I can see that here it's downloaded the file correctly. If I double click the file it will open up so that I can extract it. So I'm going to extract this and I'm going to put it under my mining folder which I already have open. I've also excluded my mining folder already from my antivirus. I'm using Avira. I have a video on how you can do that briefly especially with Avira in the link above or in the description below so be sure to check that out as well. Basically I'm just going to drag this from the zip and put it in my mining folder right there. When you double click this, the folder, you're going to get the files of the miner. What I like to do first is get the exe, the xmrig.exe, which is the miner, the application. If you're going to double click this, it's not going to do anything. So if I double click this, it's going to fail to do anything because pretty much there are no scripts yet. I'm just going to stop this. So right click the xmrig.exe, go to properties, Go to compatibility and tick run this program as administrator. I always like to do this so that it will have access to the MSR registers when mining, which are the CPU registers. And that way you might improve your hash rate slightly as well. Another way to improve your hash rate is to enable huge page files as well. If you haven't seen my video on how to mine faster with your CPU, check that out in the link above or in the description below as well. Moving on, we need to create a script here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, new, so it's in the same folder where XMRig is and I'm going to create a text document. And here I'm going to call it whatever you like, tests, for example, mining. I'm going to double click the text file and I'm going to start to populate it with the mining pool, my wallet and the commands. So I'm going to go to unminable I'm going to find a coin that I would like to mine. For example, I'm going to go with BitTorrent, okay? So I'm going to click the BitTorrent. Here, it's important that you select your algorithm. Let me just switch this to night mode so you can see that a bit better as well. CPU mining, it mines on random X, the rest of the GPUs. So here you would enter your hash rate to see what profits you are going to make depending on the hash rate you get. But first, obviously, you need to set up the script. Here, there is a lot of detailed information. You can press on Get Started with MX Rig. So if you click on that, it will direct you to a link and it will tell you 
how to download the file like I've just shown you and how to create the batch file as well. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab xmrig.exe and all this command here with the wallet name and everything until the pause line here. Try not to highlight any spaces. So I'm just going to copy that into our empty text file. Okay, now here in the instructions, it's telling you that you could create a start.bat file, but it doesn't make a difference what it's called as long as it's in the same folder as xmrig. What you need to change here is the unminable server can remain as is. The algorithm is rx because it's random x. The dash k means keep alive so that the connection is staying alive repeatedly. Okay, the minus u would be the coin that you're going to mine, colon the address dot worker name. Worker name means any name you'd like to give it to distinguish between, for example, mining with your CPU, mining with your GPU. If you have more than one CPU, for example, you have more than one system, then you can name it, for example, Teco Guy CPU 1, Teco Guy CPU 2, just so I can distinguish between the systems and I know which ones I can see on the unminable site and which ones I can troubleshoot better. If one goes offline, I know which one it is and I can immediately troubleshoot it. So, for example, I'm just going to say Teco Guy one okay techo guy cpu underscore one for example now the coin i'm going to mine we said was going to be btt in this case so here you would enter btt colon your address and the worker name that we've just entered so here i'm going to put the coin which is btt in this case and here i would put my mining address so I paste the address there make sure there are no spaces and just leave it like that okay i'm just going to open this up so you can see it pretty much on one line like that so that's basically it that's all you need to do now if i save this save as and here you'll leave you'll put this to all files and you'll rename this txt to dot b a t and I'm just going to save and close this down. And now if we open the XMRig folder here, we do have our batch script. So you've got the TXT file and the batch file. You can pretty much then delete just the TXT file. I could have also just renamed this and just changed the extension to .bat. It doesn't make a difference, but you'll be running the .bat file. So I'm just going to delete this one. If you do .bat and you do edit, just to make sure everything is correct. And there you go. Now, for your wallet address, you need to obviously have a wallet. I did make a video on how you can set up Trust Wallet. It's very straightforward. If you'd like to get up and running with mining quite fast, you can use Trust Wallet. Then obviously to exchange, you would need to send them over to an exchange. I'm just going to run this, double click on the file. That's all you need to do and it will start running. I have huge pages already, permissions granted. And here, these are the MSR registers that I was talking about at the beginning of this video. So these have been set for Intel successfully because it's running as an administrator as well. I'm already getting accepted shares and that's pretty much it. I'm currently mining BitTorrent on the unminable pool. I hope you found this video useful, guys. Please let me know what you think down in the comments below. If I can be of any help, I will do my very best to help you out. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give me a like. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves. And thanks for watching.